All right, and here's Jamal with GospelMusicians.com. You know what's up. We're coming at you. All right, so we went over the suitcase. We went over the stage. Now it's time to go over the whirly. All right, it's a whirlitzer. All right, 200A. So the thing about a whirlitzer is it's probably the hardest one of all of these to sample because the whirlitzer is really, when it comes to neo soul music, it's really designed to be a comping type of instrument uh you don't really play pretty stuff long uh romantic type of pretty pretty stuff when it comes to the whirly it is meant to be a funky instrument uh it can be dirty it can be really clean but it's really meant for it's a comping type of instrument so let me give you an example of what i mean by comping comping is like so the most when you but that plant let me give you an example here okay so when you comp when you comp it's almost it's almost like so you go That goes like put a bit back like so that's what I mean by comping. So when you design an instrument, well, me as a musician, when I set out to design an instrument, I'm not just setting out to just just throw samples together and just to add a whole bunch of velocity layers and try and fool you like I did something cool. The, the whole point of designing an instrument is to make it playable. So knowing the personality of the instrument, like a whirly, you want to design around the most important features. And the most important features to me, to me, in my opinion, is that Now, one thing I like my whirly is to be very creamy, and I like my whirly to be very... That's what I like my whirly to be. So that's what I designed this whirly to be. Once again, we're neo soul, we're gospel, so we're designing it around. We're designing a plugin around the type of music that we're listening to. Um, too many times people design plugins to to try and encompass everybody. Uh, one instrument, especially an organic, a real electromechanical instrument, cannot be applicable to everybody. So that's why I call it neo soul whirly because because my designing is for you know that particular type of, of music all right so now let, let's let's go over this a little bit here all right same stuff that you saw on all the other ones we changed it up a little bit there is no dirty clean uh, but we give you a knob for a dirty clean the depth uh, we don't give you a the two options on the vibrato it just stays on because if you ever played the whirly there's only one knob so we try to keep it as real as possible okay um, we got still got the reverb. I kind of like the I like to hear the reverb a little bit on there, not too much. So, so um, now one of the things that we added, which I like, and I'm going to show you here, and I'm going to even take this off so you so you get a chance to see. We have a clean and a dirty knob. The clean knob sounds like this. I, I can't even play this without the vibrato. I ain't even going to try and do that. All right. Now the other one, which is really, really special, it's a dirty knob. What is a dirty knob? All right. So there's two ways, two two main signals that come out of a whirling. One is from the DI, the output, the uh, 
XLR outputs, all right? And that's what gives you this signal right here. But what really gives you character out of a whirly is the, the actual speakers. So what we sampled was we put a mic right by the speaker. Now what we did, we cranked it up, we cranked up the speaker, we cranked the volume all the way up, and if you notice that a whirly is kind of plasticky. So when you crank the volume all the way up and you play it loud, it vibrates the speaker and it gives a zzzz kind of feel. So we did that. So it, gave, it gives you some kind of fuzz kind of feel. Now what we did, we took that same output and we ran it through a tube amp and gave it tube saturation so you can add that dirty fuzzy feel. And this is what it sounds like. You can hear the vibration of the speaker, how it vibrates because we turned it all the way up. So that gives you that fuzz, all right? So so it gives you that that fuzzy, that warmth. So what the purpose, okay, first, you want to add diversity to your sound. You don't want a clean sound. Once again, we're not doing clean sounding instruments. We want to do dirty sounding instruments to give you that feel. So when you crank that volume all the way up, it vibrates the speakers and gives you a fuzzy kind of feel. When you throw it, throw that same signal through a tube amp, then it gives you a warm aspect of it. So let me play that just as it is. Let me try and find a beat here. That's straight old school hip hop, huh? hip-hop feel so so what we did we gave you we allowed you to dial that in the DI at the same time because that's what happens on a real instrument both of them play at the same time now what we like to do we give you a clean and then we take the fuzz just a little bit down all right and it gives you a nice let's take it up a little bit more just a little Just enough. You know what I'm saying? Just enough. Now, this is probably one of the most important aspects here is this right here. This distortion. This distortion we added to give you a nice... Yeah, there we go. There we go. It gives you that really, that distorted feel along with a little bit of fuzz gives you the authentic Swirlitzer sound. All right, that's a little too much. Let's, let's just crank it down just a little bit. It has to be just right. That's it. So when you crank it down, you get fuzz and you get a little bit of distortion and you, you are all set to go. Uh, uh, uh.
podcast Okay. You can still go pretty. And then when you hit it hard, then you get a fuzz. So now you get the feel of that. So that's how we like to do our worldly. Once again, everything here, let's turn this down, just give you a little clean signal. Everything here is the same as uh, you still got dirt. Let's turn this dirt all the way up. You still got the dirt because they still run on times. They still have the same concept. You still got the same. Um, what we what I like to do I like to add a little more key clicks so key click down so that's key down uh, two. I, I like to add key clicks on my whirly I like to it's a little bit one that's a little bit too much so key down two, just a little I like to just still too much now a world don't don't get me wrong. A worldly can be very pretty. A worldly can be very, very pretty. Alright? So let let me uh let me see. A worldly can be very pretty as well. Um How you play Play a comp, you have to comp. Woo. So you can still, a Willie still can be pretty. still kept it creamy it's still creamy like the one before it's still creamy that's how you play a whirly you comp with a whirly all day comp 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 on this yeah one ready go oh I like 
like that. We're going to do that. So there we go. Here's the whirly. And we're coming at you. GospelMusicians.com. Neo Soul Keys. 3X. 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 All right.